Welcome back to my channel for a short Nikon episode. And sometime back, I actually posted a video where I provided an adapter by TechArt TCM02, mounted it on my Nikon C9 and claimed my Nikon C9 now shoots Leica M lenses with lightning fast autofocus. And uh, that's a while ago. And uh, in the meanwhile, a lot of questions did roll in. Is it also possible with the Nikon C8? And is there any step in between, like a firmware update? What do I need to know to shoot Leica M lenses on the Nikon C8? And in this video, I will address this question. I have the adapter mounted on the Nikon C8 with a Leica M lens. I will show you how it works. We'll test it out and we will come to conclusions. Let's kick this off. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, support my work, and I will be grateful for it. And now let's go right into the topic. So I have my Nikon C8 here. That's the Nikon C8. And uh, I have mounted on the Nikon C8 here, the TechArt adapter, TCM02, and uh, it connects the Sumilux M widest open 1.4, 35 millimeter with my Nikon C8. So, so far so good. I could use this in manual autofocus, of course, and it's actually a beautiful combination if you look at that. I think Leica M lenses just look good on any camera body, be it a Sony Alpha 1 or be it a Nikon C8 or Nikon C9 or of course on the rangefinder cameras from Leica, what have you. And uh, there are also always adapters available for kind of any camera system I can think of where you can mount Leica M lenses because the optical properties are just so good and the image quality is so nice and the very famous Leica look very often also kicks in. So there is a reason why people want to shoot Leica M lenses on other brands' cameras. But of course, the next level always is if you get autofocus to work. And Leica M shooters are used to focus these lenses manually. And uh, I think that's actually the classical, the old school way of doing it. But there are brands like TechArt here with the TCM02 who provide autofocus adapters. And the question I want to address and try out in this video is how fast is it? How reliable is it? And is it actually something we can practically really use for our photography? The first question I want to address is how quickly can the focus change uh, by this autofocus adapter from TechArt if I focus close and I focus more far away? And uh, for this, I've set up my camera in a way that if we go into the eye menu here, I'm on autofocus single. I'm here on autofocus field and I have autofocus subject detection off. That's the way I have it here. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to focus on Jennifer's body and uh, you will see that the focus sits if it indicates green. And then I want to focus on the background. Let's see how quickly this goes. Here we go. This is immediately green. You see that the moment in time I have pressed the shutter button, it is green and there is so far no focus hunting. Let's now focus on the background. Let's, uh, this is on field. Here we go. It's green immediately. Let's go back. It's green immediately on Jennifer. You see, this is actually reasonably fast and reliable. Let's try this again. Here we go. Green on the tripods in the background. Back to Jennifer. And green again. So this is actually remarkable. I already said it in my video when I mounted this TCM02 on my Nikon C9, it's remarkable that this works. And the way it works is there's a mechanism here which actually with a tube drives the lens out away from the camera body and pulls it back in. And I demonstrated this in my video on the Nikon C9. I will post the link down below in the info box so you can look this up. But it's remarkable how this works because these lenses are definitely not built for autofocus. But with this tiny little piece of metal in between, it becomes an autofocus lens. I always find this fascinating. So let's go here again. Jennifer is green. Let's go to the background. By the way, I'm here on spot metering. And uh, let's go here to the background. Let's go back to Jennifer. And you see this works. So in single autofocus, this really works very well. There is one caveat. You need to have the newest firmware on this adapter here. 
And uh, I will play a very quick clip where you see how this works and how you update it. And I actually had to update the tech art adapter in order to make it work on the C8. It worked on the C9. It didn't work out of box on the C8. So I had to do that firmware update. So let's have a look and then let's continue because I also want to try out tracking Yennefer's face. So let's see how this plays out. What I want to do now is testing eye and face detection and 3D tracking with the TCM02 and the Sumilux M 35mm 1.4. And uh, this is a bit too hard, I think, for this camera adapter lens combo to do it with my Yennefer here on the right hand side because her right hand side eye is partly covered by hair, her face is very small, the minimum focusing distance of that Sumilux is 0.4 meter. I think it's a more fair test if I test this on a real image of Yennefer, which I just picked from the web. So here's the image. That's the real Yennefer. Well, I don't want to discount my model here because she's as beautiful as the real one, but that's the real one. And most importantly, the face is big and seen here with her blue eyes. So let's see. I changed the settings on the camera now. If you look here, I'm on autofocus continuous. I'm also on 3D tracking and I have set this here to face detection with eye detection and it should actually find the eyes of this picture very quickly and then get sticky if I move the camera in three-dimensional space. So let's have a look. I have pressed the shutter button. It finds the eye immediately. Look how it jumps. It's also that in this image the right hand side eye is closer so the camera picks that one. Of course you can toggle between the eyes if you want. And let's see if this remains sticky if I continue to half press the shutter button. I actually hear the motor of the adapter working. Look at that. This is pretty good. Very well done. It will never reach the tracking quality of a native Nikon C lens, but it is working reasonably well. And in any case, if you want to shoot Leica M lenses on the Nikon C8, and in this video, I'm only trying one, picked one randomly as an example. I'm not trying five to ten as i did in the nikon c9 video if you want to shoot these type of lenses on the nikon c8 camera you are better off with the tech art adapter than with any other adapter and i'm saying this without them paying me because except for the case where you go for zone and range focusing where you preset the camera on the distance scale and then everything will be sharp and in focus depending on aperture and the distance you choose and the zone and range focusing if you really want to manually focus that lens with focus peaking it will always be lightning more fast if you go via an autofocus adapter. And I think as we saw, it works reasonably well. You can really use that adapter. It works, it tracks, it is reasonably fast when it changes from the foreground to the background as we saw on single autofocus before. And in my opinion, this is a really good result, a really good outcome for an adapter shooting. And again, I'm repeating myself, amazingly shooting a Sumilux M 35mm f1.4. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.